What's going on guys? Welcome back to Beyond Next Door. So today we're going to change the water in the 440 gallon tank. I'm going to walk you through how we do it, what exactly we do, how we fill it back up. And I'm also going to show you exactly what we do with this sump down here. Usually the sump stays really clean, it stays nice, we don't have to do much anything because of the biological filtration in there with all the lava rock. I put some snails in there as well, and they have been thriving in there cleaning up all that nasty nasties. All right guys, so like I was saying, we're gonna clean the 440 today, because as you can tell, it is time. It is nasty, nasty. But also, this is also my fault for not having enough water flow, I think, personally, in this tank. There is only about 7,300 gallons per hour in this tank when I personally feel like there should be at least 10 to 15 thousand gallons per hour in this tank just because I know Chester, Daisy and the Peacock really like that flow I know the big guys, the Red Tails really love that water flow as well but they've been eating real good, this is just leftovers I mean I fed them maybe a pound of tilapia they ate all of it except for that clearly so today we're gonna walk you through the water change in this guys and it's kind of ghetto because I'm not you know the king of DIY I'm not Ohio fish rescue I'm not none of those guys were small but we'll get right to it eh so as you saw there that fish tank looks pretty gross you can see right here that is nasty but still the fish are perfectly healthy perfectly fine they're perfectly nice so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a bucket like I said, this is our way of cleaning our 440 gallon. Other people have different ways, better ways, more efficient ways. And hopefully somebody down in the comments can help me find out a better, more efficient way. But for now, what we do is we get our big old tank. We get a big old bucket. Well, that's not big old bucket. It's a five gallon bucket. Um, down here we have our clutter of crap. Since we have a tiny shed, we get ourselves one of these drain hoses. And all we do because we were going to plop it in there, drain that nasty conk that camouflages itself over here. Make sure there's nothing over there with the big guys or anybody else bothering anybody. We're going to drain all that nasty stuff at the bottom of the tank into this little bucket. And then afterwards, we have another pump down there that we're going to put inside the fish tank. And it's going to siphon all the water outside to our garden. And then we'll f probably do a 50% water change. These guys can handle it no problem. We always do 50% water changes in this big tank because we rarely do water changes in this tank. So we're gonna do a 50% water change. We are expecting new fish tomorrow. So today's the perfect day to do this. And we will show you the new fish that we're getting. It's a Jardini arowana that's about two to three foot long. He said it was about fully grown. So I'm assuming it's about three foot or two. Um, he does have a strawberry silver arowana, and he said that one's almost fully grown, so I'm assuming it's around the three foot to three and a half foot marker, because Chester is not even done growing yet, and he's about to hit the two foot marker. So, I'll get back to you guys after I start draining this, though. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Alright, and by the way, for you guys asking how I know the water needs to be changed in this tank, because when you lift the lid up and it smells dirtier than the bathroom when you leave it after a Taco Bell then it pro it's probably time to change the water you know what I'm saying oh yeah this is how we do it right here this in your mouth and you hope you don't get any water in there Oh yeah, and the reason we don't change the water often in this tank, you might be asking yourself, is because, well honestly, it, it doesn't need it. it. It's a big tank that has settled. It, it's, it's been here for a long time, and it got settled. That, what I mean by that is bacteria, the beneficial bacteria you want in your fish tank, the nice stuff, the good stuff, that doesn't kill your fish, it's in here. I mean, the ammonias don't fluctuate, the nitrites don't fluctuate, the nitrates don't fluctuate, pH does not fluctuate. This tank is perfect. It does not fluctuate in any single way. It stays the same the entire time. And I just spilled water everywhere. 
but what happens here in this next part is we go down here so what happens here in this part guys is you can hear this terrible rumbling so now we're gonna go down here we have more buckets we're gonna disconnect our sump all right guys so now that the sump is filled to the top it is kind of gross looking so what we're gonna do here is gonna drain some water from this sump we're gonna put it into a five gallon bucket probably most of this water and we're gonna throw it outside after that we're gonna come back in here we're gonna drain this tank like i said i'll show you that part though okay so we finally finished down here put that sump back in there that's our big ass pump yeah it's massive it barely fits in the pump our tank's still not drained because we've been working on the pump and the pump took so long so now we're going to drain the tank using this pump so one's going to go ahead and hook that up to the hose to the green hose and we're going to siphon that out there to the yard and uh we'll time lapse how this comes down and then goes back for the rest of this video it's just going to be the tank coming down because we did fill it back up but unfortunately the gopro died so we weren't able to capture any of the footage or time lapse of it filling back up so hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video make sure to comment subscribe and share this video just leave whatever comment you want in the section below make sure you name the new fish in the next video keep up for that video to see the new arowanas uh, and thanks for watching